So welcome everyone. Uh, this is Dan from Top Cut Network here. And today, Jimmy, Jimmy Ballard and I, uh, we got 400 PSA cards in, newly delivered to us, 400 cards, PSA graded, and we are gonna open them, we're gonna open them all up, and we're gonna see what we got, because this is a lot of stuff, and it's gonna be very exciting. Um, we figured this would be, 400 cards would be better as a two-person job than a one-person job, so here we go. All these cards will be available on TopCutEvents.com. Uh, usually it takes about a week to get all these pictured and, and listed on the website. Uh, we did migrate over to a more suitable selling website for these cards since we sent in roughly 5,000 submissions for 2020. That's a lot of cards. Yep. <laughs> All right, what do you got there? All right, I got a Charmeleon from Team Rocket Returns. I think it that's a, a secret, right? Is it? Is it? Pretty sure. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. The secret Charmeleon. Is there a swirl on that puppy? Is there a swirl? Yep. Right. Uh-oh. Right here. Swirlies are is. nice. Oh, there she goes. Nice Charmeleon swirly. I like it. I got a Rocket Zapdos from Gym Challenge. Came back a PSA 7. Got an Ampharos 9. Neo Genesis. Oh, first add too. First add Ampharos. Next leads me to Charmander. I also believe this is the secret. 98 of 97. Is that the Stormfront one, or is that the Team Rocket Returns one? This too? is the EX Dragon. Oh, the Dragon one. No swirlies in this one that I can see, but I will further inspect it another time. Some more Neo Genesis here. Uh, Zoomerol coming in at 8.5. Looks like I got another Charmander. Once again, looking for the swirlies. This one came back a PSA 8. But how about... Boom! PSA 9 base set Blastoise. It's a good looking card. That is a good looking card for sure. So, um, 9, huh? That's pretty clean, huh? Very. Nice. I'll continue this with a another EX Dragon Charmeleon. Came back a PSA 8. Once again, looking for those swirlies. A lot of times it'll end up on this side of the card here. So we'll inspect that further. Right. Meanwhile, I found a Shadowless Raichu from base. Uh, uh, this one got a 5, so a little disappointing grade there. Is, but is that the pre-release Raichu? It is not. Oh, man. It's the regular. All right. I got Diamond and Pearl Charmeleon, number 102 of 100. Also, a secret rare came back, a PSA 7. We got a 9 on this base set Venusaur. So we got the we got the Blastoise and the Venusaur. Uh, both came back 9s. Too bad just, they're not shadowless, huh? Yeah, now we just need the Charizard, huh? I have yet another Stormfront Charmeleon. Once again, it's the secret rare from that set. <laughs> yeah. Number 102 of 100. What's up, Evil Salad? How are you? I got base set... Flareon, or Jungle Flareon, rather. Um, I got confused. Oh, uh, Emmanuel with the follow. Thank you for the follow. Has no jungle symbol. Yeah, it's no symbol. How about that? No. What that one come back at? A six. six. Hey, no symbol, still nice. We have an Aquapolis Electrode, PSA 8. Hollow, looking for those swirlies. No swirly. The reader sets have the best art. Yes, they do. So, uh, we got another. This fossil first edition Dragonite uh, came back at six. We got Aquapolis Needle King Hollow. Came back a PSA six. Got another nine Dark Dragonite from Rocket Hollow. Swirlies in that one. I don't. Did the Rocket cards have swirls? That would be nice if it did. I got an this one does not. Not? Okay. I got an Expedition for Alligator. Number 12 came back a PSA 5. 
I love that card. Yep. It's one of my favorite arts. That the art on this card is the the background on my computer currently. All right, I got Dark Vile Plume. Came back in eight. Uh, first ad from Rocket. So first ad, nice. Yep. And another first ad too. Got an eight on the Dark Vile Plume and the Dark Weezing. I am holding a beautiful Rocket's Mewtwo. From Gym Challenge came back a PSA 7. And last but not least for this one, we have a Neo Revelation Raikou. Once again, looking for swirlies. Give me some swirlies. Nope, no swirlies in this one. Just to kind of, I'm going to turn the camera here for a second, kind of give you an idea what we're up against today. We have all of these to open. That's a lot of cards. We have a ton of cards to open. Just want to shout out to the Chicago Bears and my good friend Dan Garman here. Thanks for joining me, Dan. Appreciate you. Yeah, but we don't shout out to Chicago Bears on this side. Yeah, the sure we do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me get my next one open. I'm going to open one of these smaller ones here, so you'll be ahead of me. All right, and speaking of being ahead, let's start off this one the same exact way we did last time. Uh, Secret Charman Charmeleon, come back an eight from Team Rocket Returns. Man, we got like four of those now. <laughs> um, got a Delta Espeon from EX Delta Species, come back an eight. What a good looking card. I love these dual type Delta Pokemon, especially the Hollows. They just look so good. All right. I'm going to start off with a weird one here. We got back from PSA. We got a 2000 Rocket Dark Slowbro Miscut. They didn't put it in the PSA package here. Let's see if I can find the miscut on this card. This card is very clean. No scratches on the hollow. It looks like the it looks like it's it looks shifted like it's upwards. It's cut down here. If anyone can see that, maybe that's too close. Looks like there's a cut on this edge that doesn't follow oh, the yeah. normal, kind of on the top here as well. Doesn't follow the normal cut. So I got two Sky Ridge Beedrill, an eight and a nine, both reverse hollows. Uh, Sky Ridge reverse hollows. Again, just the e-reader sets in general, I think, have some of the best art in the game um, ever. And uh, the reverse hollows, just they look so clean. Just the, the mirror reverse style I like a lot, especially on the old e-readers. I got another cool card here. Uh, base set Zapdos. This card came back an 8.5. It's the second 8.5 we've gotten. Yeah, 8.5s are good to have. Obviously no swirlies in base set that I can see. Those half, uh, half grades are weird. but Yeah, um, they're more rare too. I like yeah. them. So we got two Expedition Pidgeot, uh, both hollow. We got a six and a nine. I'm looking at a Polyrath from base set. Polyrath always looks confused to me. Not sure why, but <laughs> this one came back a PSA nine. Uh, we got a six and a seven, more Expedition Hollows. Uh, this time is Vile Plume. How about that? How about that? No... Most I got base set nine tails came back a PSA number nine. nine. Unfortunately, this one has the 80, 80 damage that it does. There are misprint cards out there. Oh, that doesn't have that any does damage not have the all, right? yeah it does not have no. the eighty. I believe James Arnold just uh, happened to move one. Yeah. So um, we got a hollow cloister at a seven and a reverse Ampharos at a seven and a half. Uh, one front uh, expedition, more e-reader stuff. I love these. Yeah, we sent in quite a bit of uh, e-reader stuff. The main reason we did yep. this, these are cards that were supposed to be used on our prize wall and our regional events that unfortunately were not held. So a lot of these are coming back six, seven, eights. Uh, but we, we were well aware of that when we sent them off because we just wanted to get cards out cards like this out there to the general public and best way to do that we felt was through our through our tournaments through our regional events 
definitely. So I only got three cards in this package here, but we're going to start off with a good one. Rocket Scyther. Beautiful card. This one came back a PSA 7. Very nice card. Um, I'm starting off my pack with uh, Jigglypuff. <laughs> Uh, black and white promo <laughs> Jigglypuff. Are you so, asleep? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> but we got a seven on this card. That's nice. All right. Uh, Misty's Misty Gym Heroes. Number 18 came back. Looking for a swirly in this one. Uh-oh. We do have a little swirly here. Right above her arm here. I don't know if we can pull that up in the in the camera here, but... There's definitely a, a yep, fairly, yep, you fairly can see big it there. swirl there. Yeah. Just above her arm there. That's pretty nice. Came back a PSA 7. Nice. And on this guy, uh, Reverse Hollow Delcaddy Ruby Sapphire. Came back a 6. Uh, this is one of the more the fun, I think, playable one cards. One of the era. best cards ever made. Yeah, one of the best competitive cards from that era for sure. All right, here we go. Heavy hitter here. Charizard Evolution Reverse Foil. A seven, though. Came back a seven. Hey, on our prize wall, Charizard sevens will go well. Yeah. Speaking of sevens, this Lapras from Legend Maker also got a seven. Support Navigation. Nothing wrong with sevens. The, I've the been pre, a seven. Uh, the precursor to... <laughs> <laughs> been a seven my whole life. Precursor to Tapu Lele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very few decks ran that Lapras. Yeah. Um, it's amazing how a change of format, you know, all the years that have gone by. Uh, back then, we didn't care too much for the Lapras. Uh, very few decks ran it, if, if any. I know... It was maybe a one of in some decks, but um, yeah, I, I think the big biggest difference between then and now was uh, supporters were so much more search based, where now they're draw based, right? So they're a little more important. And there's more text then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, so I start off with a reverse hollow from Holland. F start off next, a reverse hollow from Holland Phantoms. Um, a bio plume here got an eight. I'll kick right in with base set Needle King. Number 11 came back at PSA 8. Another 8. First edition Inte from Neo Revelation. Got base set Gyarados. Let's see who can spell Gyarados correctly. G-Y-A-R-A-D-O-S. Why so many A's? <laughs> That's a lot of A's. Too many A's for sure. This one came back at PSA 7. And in another 8.5... Uh, we got some character rares from Cosmic Eclipse, Pikachus, eight and a half and a nine. Those are fantastic yep. looking full arts. I, I love those. Yep. I big agree. Needle Queen. Not sure this card ever seen play. Uh, I have seen it in many, many a binders, but this one came back a uh, PSA eight. And this card in our first Gym Mint 10 of the day, Shiny Vault Mewtwo GX from Hidden Fates. Oh, man. What a awesome card to get a 10 on. How about that? I'm going to wrap up my pack here with uh, Wigglytuff. We had Jigglypuff on earlier, came back a yep. 6. Um, Wigglytuff also came back a 6. And another Gym Mint 10 from Hidden Fates. Shiny Vault Umbreon GX this time. Awesome. Uh, man, that card is sweet. Yes. If I were going to get a tattoo, that would be one of them for sure. Shiny Umbreon. Look at the art on that card. Just the black and the blue. And oh my god, it, it's just it incredible. It contrasts really well. Oh, it's so, so awesome. And we got another shiny. This one just an 8, though. We got Naganadal GX from Shiny Vault Hidden Fates. Now, is it Naganadal or is it Naganadal? Naganadal, I guess. But Are you putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Whew. Man, these things are hard to open. All right. Uh oh. Looks like I got my daughter's favorite card ever. Even had a t-shirt made with Blaine's Arcanine. <laughs> this one came back a PSA 7. Blaine's Arcanine. One of my favorite arts. She had a t-shirt that said, too hot to handle. <laughs> and 20 years later, that still remains true. 
I'll keep going with Espeon Reverse Foil from Delta Species. Came back a PSA 7. All right, and I got I got a lot of jungle. Or no, just kidding. I have a jungle and then a lot of fossil. Uh, another eight and a half <laughs> jungle or fossil. Yes, jungle <laughs> words. Jungle Snorlax <laughs> Hollow. Eight and a half. I have a fossil Raichu, first edition. Came I back just have a regular one. PSA five. I got an eight. Boo. But mine's first edition, so. True. All right. Beat this one, buddy. Charizard Legendary Collection. Oh. The non-foil one, which is the only one that should ever be played in decks. Non-foil. This one came back at a PSA 6. I right, that's sticking on the fossil train. We got Articuno. This one got a 7. And even more. Kabutops and Hitmonlee. Uh, Kabutops got a 7. Hitmonlee got a 6. Sorry, I just hit my camera there. There's not an earthquake here in Chicagoland. Bonk. Uh, and then more, one more Fossil card. Uh, Aerodactyl from Fossil, like I just said, six times. Uh, got a 7. Whoa, this is a fat stack right here. Let me wrap these two up. This is a fun stack here. Whew. Throwing them all over the place. Mega Charizard Generations. Got neat. Rocket Scyther from Gym Heroes. PSA 7. Um, got an XY promo. I think this is one of the... Was this one of the Shining Legends? No, not Shining Legends. Um, Generations boxes, mm -hmm. right? Sure was. Mew. Got a 7. I would imagine those would be hard to grade. Because they come on the... The front the of the plastic, box there. Yeah. yeah. They bend and get nicked so easily. Erica's Clefable. I think this one might have some swirlies in it. Oh, yes, it does. Right down here on the corner. If I can kind of see that swirly there. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a big swirly. That is. That's well defined. PSA 7. And then we move into the best Pokemon, no argument possible, in Steelix. Uh, from Team Rocket Returns, got Nate. Uh, I'll disagree with that. Nope, can't. It melts under fire. Nope. <laughs> we got uh, <laughs> Sandstorm Raichu EX. Rah, PSA 7. And I got an Espeon from Call of Legends. Got an 8. We'll continue this fat stack here with Gardevoir EX from Sandstorm. Oh my gosh. All the EXs. Arguably one of the better decks of that year. Got a PSA 8. Woo! Continue the EX train here with EX Dragon. Golem EX came back a PSA 7. See if I could find any swirlies in that one. No, nope, lots of starbursts, but uh, no swirlies that I can see. Oh, man. The next card is hilarious. Uh, but we'll start off with the Dark Crobat from Team Rocket Returns. Got a nine. Oh man, we actually sent that one in hoping it'd be a one. Okay, well I'll let you go first. Agron EX, easily Steelix's daddy. I mean, Agron's really cool too, but PSA five. All right, we got a shining Kabutops here from Neo Destiny, and it got a three. Yeah, we sent that one in hoping it'd be a one. Uh, I need to keep it in my pocket a little longer, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, the this side of it, um, definitely a lot of mix in there for sure. Yeah. Amazing. We got a Reg Ice EX PSA 7 from EX Emerald. Here's a fun card. Secret Charizard from Stormfront. Got a 7. I think... The last time I did one of these PSA openings, we got one of these too. So getting two of those back is really fun. Here are a couple not-so-fun cards. Hitmonchan EX. Twinsies all the way. Both came back a PSA 6. Stay on the Shining train. Got a Shining Celebi. Came back a 7 from Neo Destiny. Lots of Shinings and Shinies. 
we got Kyogre EX from Crystal Guardians. Let's see if I can find any swirlies in this one. Uh, nothing that jumps out right away. But PSA 7. PSA 7, Charizard. Base hey. set 2. 2. I hear Charizard's pretty good. Pretty, yeah, pretty good. Pretty collectible. Any swirlies? No. Not that that was a thing. I don't think, yeah, I don't think they said you had those. Black Star Promo Articuno EX. Number 32 came back a PSA 6. Now it's my turn to get some EXs. Uh, Team Aqua versus Team Magma. Suicune EX. Got a 6. Last one from my stack here. Kingdra EX from EX Dragon. Came back a PSA 7. More EXs. We got a 7 and an 8 on Team Rocket Returns. S Rockets Sneasel EX. Yeah, your next card here is just one of those cards where when we're talking about things, uh, again, I just felt like on the prize wall, there's some cards you should send in regardless of what it's going to come back. It's not always about the monetary value, but just having certain cards as part of your collection and uh, giving access to these sorts of cards to uh, the players, which yep. was super cool. This is definitely one of them. And this Mew EX from Legend Maker coming back at three fits that bill perfectly. So. Any swirlies in that three? Doesn't. Doesn't appear. Appear to be so. Anyone watching, do you know what sets uh, commonly have the swirlies in them? You know, I actually don't even know the answer. I to don't that either. Question. Oh, so <laughs> I'm hoping to get it from uh, any of our viewers. <laughs> Got a Dusnor Level X Hollow from Storefront. This was the only Pokemon card that could turn itself into a stadium upon a knockout, and the then went back to your hand when it was replaced instead of the discard pile. Came back a PSA seven. The only card with a million words of text. Yep. Um, here we've got two Shinings from Call of Legends, or Shinies rather, in ho -Oh and Groudon. Uh, both came back an 8. Fun stuff. Man, I haven't got a 10 yet. You've gotten a 10. Uh, yeah, I got two of them. I've gotten some really cool cards, but... I've also gotten two 3s. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this here. Arceus, level X. Once again, great card for a prize wall. Came back a PSA 4. Got two real nice cards here. I'll put them side by side for comparison. We got Rayquaza from Dragon. And we also have Rayquaza from Deoxys. Both of these twinsies came back at PSA 8. Rayquaza is the best box legend. Easy keep going here. I got Jirachi EX from Crystal Guardians. Ooh, this one, this uh, case is a little scuffed here. Ooh. EX Crystal Guardians. Jirachi EX. Beautiful card. I'm cheating a little bit looking ahead. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's what we do. Uh, I've got a reverse hollow R energy from Team Rocket Returns. Came back a 7. I love the reverse hollow patterns on these, and I'll try to figure it out so it doesn't glare. But it's got the back of these energies, like the hollow pattern has all of the energy symbols. Yeah, the glare, I think, is just a little too You can kind of see them down here at the bottom. Yeah, there you can see them at the top pretty there well. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I just it's such a cool hollow pattern. And I, like I kind of wish they didn't take this away. I get it because of the pre-releases. But having the set symbol on the reverse hollow is such a cool idea. Looking at a Dust Tox EX from EX Legend Maker. Came back a PSA 8. Got a first edition Fossil Dragonite PSA 7. Oh, you're making a nice stack. I'm just going up like <laughs> all the buildings in, in Chicago. We got high rise skyscrapers going on over yep. here. Build a PSA city. All right. Another nearly useless card. <laughs> Armaldo EX PSA 6. 
Someone's favorite Pokemon is Armaldo, though. So uh, don't worry, you guys. That's okay. And we've got another low-grade card, but it's first edition Dark Blastoise from Rocket. Came back a four. Got swirlies in that one? Yep. There's a nice swirly in there, huh? Well, sort of. Right in the corner right here. There you can kind of see it. All right, I got almost twinsies here. I got two of the heaviest cards known in the Pokemon community. <laughs> Waylord EX. Each one of these weighs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> one came back a five and one came back a six. On this first edition, Dark Houndoom from Neo Destiny, we got an eight. This is really cool card art. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Was a vines in the back? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of what it looks like. Salamance EX. Came back a PSA 7. Sticking on the 7 train, we've got two first edition Dark Dragonite Hollows from Rocket. Nothing wrong with 7s. Not at all. Even some more 7s. We got a Blaine's Charizard at an eight, and a Dark Charizard at a seven. Both hollows. Man, I will. More Charizards. Charizards are okay, I the guess. The most collectible Pokemon. I'm more of an Evolutions guy myself, but I guess Charizards are okay. No, we only collect Steelixes here. <laughs> here we go. We've got the good H1 foil Alakazam from uh, Sky Ridge. Came back a two. So ah, close. man, we're trying hard to get those ones and just can't seem to score any. All right, so I think I'm going to put these in order here. There we go. We got four grass Pokemon. <laughs> we got all the same, unfortunately. <laughs> this one is Weezing from Expedition. Came back a four. Weezing, Expedition, a five. Weezing from Expedition <laughs> came back a six. Are we seeing a pattern here? Yes, we are. Weezing <laughs> from Expedition came back a PSA seven. It's too bad those aren't H foils. Yeah, right. Um, speaking of H foils, I've got two of them. Both Arcanine. Got a five and a seven. I'll stay on that seven train here with a reverse foil Amphros from Expedition. Once again, a beautiful card. Beautiful card art. Came back up. PSA 7. All right. This one is not too long ago. If I'm not mistaken, this was 2011, 12, 13, 12, 12 13. 12 and 13 for Maybe sure. 14. You'll recognize some of these cards here. We have Full Art Terrakion from Noble Victories. This card was heavily used in a lot of different decks. Retaliate was easily one of the most named attacks during those two years. Definitely, for sure. Uh, Bang Up Ben, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, we are I'm having a good day, at least. I think Jimmy is, Yeah, too. this is fantastic. Uh, I opened up the stack. We got another H-Foil Arcanine. We got an 8 now. So we got a 5, a 7, and an 8. We're going to stay on that train with the 12-13 uh, year. We got oh, Full man. Art Verizian. From Noble Victories, came back oh a PSA gosh. 9. So I opted to use this in my 2013 regionals deck that was setting up uh, Vileplume. And I opted to use it for the draw two cards instead of trying to uh, just outright drawing to them using you know, some of the supporters that were available at that time. I figured the more cards in hand turn one that you had, the better your odds <laughs> to hit in turn two, art, or turn two Vileplume were. Uh, Diablo, is this MTG? No? What? What would man? Oh. It's PTG. <laughs> uh, and I think I've got the coolest two cards we've opened up so far. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I know because we've got Charizard <gasps> Star. Boo! Uh, came back a five, which is unfortunate. But, but fantastic for yeah, that card still. Still a great card to have part of the uh, s uh, stock here. So. Awesome card. All right. 
I'll uh, jump into one here. Bennett EX, once again, heavily used in 2006, 2007. This one came back a PSA 6. Lots of text on that one. Holy moly. Oh, look, it's foreign. Yeah. It's What's Canto Ombra? Is that the one that it counts the supporters in your discard No, this is final? the one you can move uh, a damage counter. Yeah, but the attack does 30 plus 10 for each yeah, supporter yeah, yeah, in yeah. your discard pile. Oh, this is a foreign one. That's awesome. Is that a ten Doesn't say one? what it is, but anyone? Any ideas? Ombra Mosa? I um, think it's Italian, but I could be wrong. Ombra Mosa. Canto Ombra. That's my best Italian, apparently. Here you go, Jimmy. PSA 9 Mewtwo oh, Star. Oh, I hear that's good. <laughs> Funny. I, uh, I'm opening up the good packs here. Yeah, apparently. Oh, my gosh. We um, we just sent in an entire set of Holland Phantoms, a master set. Oh, so, so we'll get one of these back from that, too. Yeah, we'll see how nice. it comes back. <laughs> I, only energy have, type. <laughs> I only have a, a lonely Ho-Oh EX here. From Unseen Forces, PSA 6. But, man, he looks angry. Why are you <laughs> so angry? You angry, bro? We got a lot of Charizards in this stack. Holy. Holy moly. Tyranitar EX. This one has Shockwave. Shockwave markers. That's something the kids these days know nothing about. We used to be able to put a shockwave marker on one of your opponent's Pokemon and then just choose to knock them out whenever we got good and ready to do so, which was pretty nice, but never materialized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so more Charizards. Uh, this one from Dragon came back a 7 hollow. Really cool art on this one. I enjoy it quite a bit. I should probably be opening these up on live, right? So everyone can see uh, my... More Charizard. This one, Delta Species. Uh, a, de a Delta Species Charizard from Crystal Guardians. We got a seven. Everyone could see my awesome scissor skills here. The best scissor skills. I'm like Edward Scissorhands trainee. Um, <laughs> another <laughs> EX <laughs> Dragon Sorry. Hollow. Dad jokes are a, funny. <laughs> this one's a six, though. Dad jokes are plenty. No worries. Um, and one more Charizard, a PSA 9 from Charizard EX Fire Red Leaf Green. Man, any swirlies? Please give me a swirly on that puppy. Mm, no I got swirlies. some bad news. Wah, wah, wah. Lots of Charizards to show off today. Well, I mean, sending in Charizards is never a bad thing. True. All right, my first 2007 Cities deck. Flygon EX. You'll all be happy to know that my first cities tournament in 2007, after taking second to Jason at the World Championship in 2006, I proceeded to lose to Jason again playing Cricketune. <laughs> so <laughs> I have c consistent second place. Uh, so we got a PSA 7 here, Dragonite from Fossil. Um, how much does it cost to get a card graded? Well, Ben... Uh, it depends. There's there's a lot of factors um, that can go into the pricing. Um, depends on uh, what kind of account you have with PSA or if you go through a PSA middleman. It depends on how many cards you're sending. It, it depends on how quickly you want your return. Right. It's um, always best to reach out to Charlie Herlocker for those sorts of questions yep, to make so, sure. Yeah, we get all of our grading done through Ludkin's Collectibles, um, who is an authenticated PSA uh, middleman. Um, and definitely would recommend checking them out to get all your cards graded via PSA. So, um, I've got a Raikou EX full art from Dark Explorers. It came Boo. back a seven. Oh yeah. Well, I have a Latios Latias EX. First one came back PSA five. Second one came back PSA seven. And here, we've got some more Dark Explorers. This time, we got Secret Rare Shiny Gardevoir. Came back a 9. This, I played this card in my very first regional deck. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It> <laughs> you was, were uh, new. 
Uh, well, at, at, well, yeah, it was my first regional, but I played I played this. Um, at that point in time, I was playing Tool Drop, and I had some extra space in Tool Drop, and I was looking for a way to excel energy so I could attack in one turn. And that's the way to do it. Gardevoir was the way I right, decided. So here, I can't, I can't do this one. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's getting some, some bad flashbacks Woo, here. Ah, it's awful. Uh, so we've got Metric EX from Deoxys came back at 7. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Black Star promo Moltres EX. Came back a PSA six. Now here's a good looking shining Kabutops. This one came back an eight from Neo Destiny. Alright. So. Once again, all these cards will be available within the week on topcutevents.com. Within the week. Within the week. Whoa. Deb and I are dedicated this week to get them out there. Apparently. Uh, we have a Mewtwo level X. Oh, jeez. Remember the Mewtwo Wars? Like, These were awful. Mewtwo versus Mewtwo because prevent all effects, including damage done to Mewtwo by your opponent's Pokemon that isn't evolved. The only Mewtwo Wars I remember were Mewtwo EX from Next Destinies. Yeah, so what would happen is you'd get Mewtwo versus Mewtwo at and the end of a game, <laughs> and then how did you determine who the winner of that match is? Well, I don't know. It was very difficult. I can rip through these. That's a good stack right there, Dan. I got two sets of twinsies here. Arceus Level X. The one that I don't believe ever seen any play. This one came back a PSA 3, so they're absolute twinsies. There you go, Jimmy. And then I got its big brother. Got its big brother here. We got one of each of these. One came back an eight. One came back a seven. Build an all PSA graded deck. <laughs> and just play them in the PSA containers. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? No. <laughs> Shuffling would be awful. Uh, so we got Neo Discovery, Tyranitar, Hollow came back an eight. Oh, this is sad. this saddens me because I thought these were going to come back much much better. Uh, we had four of these. I kept two of them for a second copy of my Eevee deck. But uh, I thought these would absolutely come back a 9 or a 10. We have uh, Flareon EX, the centerpiece behind my 2006 Evolutions deck. Both of these copies came back PSA 8s. I mean, that's still pretty good. Yeah, but it just goes to show you how new I am at <laughs> looking at grading. All right, so I've got two EX or Gardevoir EX from Dragon Frontiers. One is a seven, one is an eight. Let's see what I got here. You, you got to carry me here for a second, Dan. <laughs> okay. I've got a lot of EXs in this stack. Uh, this one, Gengar EX from Fire Red Leaf Green, came back a six. Open them all and send them in again. No. <laughs> sure. Probably not. We could do that. You gonna front that cost for us? <laughs> that's, I'm that's sure. A lot of money. I'm sure you would uh, help us out in that. Uh, we got a EX Deoxys Salamence EX. Got an eight. All right. What's in this fat stack here? Right, got another EX, an Inte this time from Magma vs Aqua. Got an eight. Oh, look at this. More EXs. Uh, Rayquaza from Dragon. We got a six. Is that what the other one got? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Nice. Double Seems about sixes. right. Dark Gyarados from Rock Team Rocket. Came back a PSA 8. It's a pretty fat card. I like it. Um, more sixes. Mewtwo EX from Ruby and Sapphire. I played a deck that only ran four of those and no other basic. And won a gym challenge with it. <laughs> <laughs> Fossil Gengar. Lots of sparklies there. Looks like there's a little scratch on the hollow there. Came back a PSA 7. I've got also a PSA 7 of a Magmar EX from Ruby and Sapphire. Remember when Magmar didn't used to evolve? Good times. Easily one of my favorite cards. This would take down Steelix EX in a second. Nope. Dark Doug Trio. <laughs> First edition. If the first one didn't get you, the second or third might. This one came back a PSA 8. 
All right, I'll continue here. Very underrated card here. A um, lot of players didn't start playing this. I believe this was, came out in 2008. It uh, started showing up in decks in 2008. Uh, Diamond and Pearl, Time Space Distortion. This particular one came back a PSA 8. Well, this this deck has one of my favorite cards ever in it. Oh, yeah? Is it another Steelix? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed it? <laughs> it is another Steelix. In the Shining variety from Neo Destiny. Came back a 9. PSA 9 Shining Steelix. Let's go. I like it. You, can you take out a second mortgage to buy that card from us? A second? I don't even have a first mortgage. I'll follow up that <laughs> mediocre card there with this Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this one came back up PSA 9. wonder if it has any swirlies. I don't even think swirlies were a thing for this set. Uh, and Legend Maker Mew <laughs> came back a 7. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All right, following up Mew, we go with my daughter's second favorite card, Neo Genesis Pichu. This card single-handedly knocked me and Eric out of the teen tournament in 2003. <laughs> we ended up taking ninth place because of this silly baby rule. The bubble. Oh, the baby rule was so fun. We could not knock oh, it out. Baby walls was so fun. Um, I've got two uh, Tyranitars here from Expedition. Both came back in eight. Wow, that's he's pretty so, good. He's so angry. He is like Godzilla's mama right there. Yeah, he's so angry. He's so angry. What are you so mad about? Where's my baby? <laughs> Speaking of Godzilla, Team Magma's Grudon reverse foil came back at PSA 6. I'll keep going here because Dan's got some good stuff over there. So let me get through True. these mediocre cards. I'll start off with the shinies next here, Dan. Pop Series 4, Mew. I don't believe this card was ever played, but it seems to be a collectible card. So I'm going to start off with these twinsies here. Drifloon. Shiny Drifloon. One came back a 5, and one came back a 7. I love those diamond and pearl. Yeah, this shinies. was uh, S H one. Yeah, shiny one. It's a shiny one. Yeah, the Vol the Voltorb I think was my favorite. Of I actually played it in my electrode deck just because so. I needed something to hit the bench, so yeah. it would do twenty to the bench on a flip. I'm guessing this is another card we were hoping got a PSA one, huh? Uh, shining knocked owl comes yeah. back a two. It's Darn, good, man. It's so hard to get a one. <laughs> so hard. I like how you did that, how you turn your cards like that. Yeah, how You're about so that? Smart. I've done this a time or two. Actually, this is my first time. Ooh, easily one of the most beautiful energies here. Crystal Energy. Reverse Foil. Yep. Once again, you see all the rainbow coloring in that card. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. Came back a PSA 6. Here I've got some H foils from Sky Ridge, uh, Starmie, one eight and one nine. Uh, we'll stay on the energy train here. Retro energy. Once again, a beautiful, beautiful card. The hollow foiling on these were amazing that year. This one came back PSA six. We got some more H foils. This time, Polyrath from Sky Ridge came back an eight. All right, I got. Uh, go ahead, Dan. I got two Nido Queens, two nines, two H foils, two great looking cards that never seen a sleeve, never was played in a deck. No, not that I've ever seen. But beautiful cards nonetheless. Yeah, definitely. I got two cards from Aquapolis. First one, Slowbro. <laughs> this one came back a PSA 7. And then I also have a reverse foil. So is it Togetic? Is it Togetic? Yes. It's Togetic, <laughs> at least as far as I know. Uh, this one came back a PSA 5. 
I've got a Mewtwo from Expedition that came back in eight. I uh, the the Togetic Togetic. I I say Togetic. I think just because it's quicker and easier. But I think Togetic is correct. That's what we've always called it. Yeah. The remainder of my cards here, I got six left, are from the Expedition Expansion. Say that three times fast. Expedition, expansion, expedition, expansion, expedition, expansion. All right, now stand on your head and spin <laughs> while you're saying it. We have, first one is a Kingler. Came back a PSA 7. Nice little swirly down here in the bottom. I don't know if I can get that on camera. Definitely a little swirly there at the bottom right-hand corner. It's so pretty. Oh, I've looks got like some expedition got, cards, yeah. too. I'll keep going with uh, Skarmory. Or this one has lots of starbursts here. There's a nice starburst here on the right above the wing there. Came back a PSA 6. We did it, Jimmy. We got one. We got a good one. All right, let's go with this one here. Cloyster, for some reason, is tremendously sought after. I'm not sure the understanding. I like Cloyster. I think it's it. one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, uh, Bang Up Ben just said, just pre-ordered some Darkness of Blade codes from y'all. Love the stream. Thank you, Ben, and thank you for ordering some Darkness of Blades codes. This Cloyster is reverse foil. Came back a PSA 8. Yeah, I really like that Cloyster. What I really like more is this base set Charizard that came back a 9. Awesome. So we've gotten Charizard, Venusaur, or Charizard, yeah, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise all came back nines today. Too bad they're not sequential. Or are they? Uh, no, not even close. They're not. They it's are actually not. two off if that one fits in the middle. Two, five, six. Yeah, nope. I'm not. These are two, five, seven. So two, five, eight. Uh, two, five, eight is in there, but I don't think it was either one of these. Cards. Man, that would be awesome if that were yeah. in order there. Yeah, Ooh, that, that would be been awesome. sick. So, but That's we did. Awesome. We, we completed. I'll put this up here. Our trifecta. Yep. All right. I'll keep going with this amazing Butterfree. Uh, Butterfree came back PSA 6, kind of like its playability. I am convinced that this card was cropped. Like someone <laughs> drew a giant picture, <laughs> and it was cropped uh, incorrectly. Maybe he's trying to get through a door. I, I don't know. He's trying I to climb know. through a window. <laughs> it's just so awkward. <laughs> Uh, Hello. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> uh, but this Golem from Expedition came back at 8. Another Butterfree came back just a little bit better. A little PSA bit seven. butter. <laughs> a little bit Butterfree. Uh, uh, <laughs> we've got another Shiny from Call of Legends. Uh, this time is Lugia. We'll go nice with the Hello and Groudon we've got. We opened up earlier. Um and we got a Blaine's Moltres came back an eight uh, from Jim Heroes. Feel like a surgeon with these things. <laughs> uh, we've got two H foil Vaporeon from Sky Ridge. We got a seven and an eight. Nice. I actually have a deck with those cards in it. What? And minor, minor reverse foil, I believe, because I had the whole deck reverse foiled. Wow. Yeah. That was uh, one of my team decks. I have two team decks. Nice. That's my last one from uh, Expedition from the last pack. This one came back. Gengar. Reverse foil. Rah, beautiful, beautiful card. Came back PSA 6. We actually had three of these Vaporeons. A 7 and two eights. How about that? Call of Legends, Lugia. I think I just opened up one of those, too. Man, that's beautiful. Oh, mine was the shiny, though. For some Starburst, I don't see any. This one came back a PSA 8. And I've got a 6 and a 7 on Rayquaza EX Blackstar promos from... Um, I guess these would have been Ruby Sapphire promos, huh? I'm going to go with this one next because that's how I'm feeling after that big breakfast I had this afternoon. <laughs> Snorlax! <laughs> this is actually me right now opening these cards. 
that's an actual image. <laughs> I took off my socks and replaced them with buttons. PSA 6. I've got another Call of Legends shiny here. Uh, Kyogre this time. Got Nate. EX Dragon Altaria. Came back a PSA 9. With a nice... Oh, man, Dan, that's the best... <laughs> Best swirly so far that I've seen here. Right by the... Oh, yeah. Right down here on the corner here. I do see that. Nice. That's a huge, huge swirl there. Nearly a bullseye. That's fantastic. And now we've got base set two, Blastoise. Came back an eight. All so right. Now we just need the base set two, Venusaur. And we'll have that trifecta done, too. Platinum, Charizard, Cracked Ice, Hollow Foil. Beautiful card. <laughs> it looks like, hey, Pikachu, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Came back a PSA 5. Bomp, bomp, bomp. All right, we got another Neo Discovery Tyranitar here. This one came back a seven. Huh, not to be overshadowed. We have a Lieutenant Surge from <laughs> Gym Heroes. <laughs> also came back a PSA seven. It has the three dot combo. We'll call that the the com the comet. Oh. Now I've got two Hound Dooms. H foils in ah. there on this one right here. There you go, Jimmy. Right by his horns. Oh man, that's awesome. There's a real nice swirl in there. It also has by the tail there the the starburst. Yep. That little cross there. Yep. Wow, that's an awesome card. That's beautiful. So Comet Rock on. Oh no. This one too. It's got part of a swirl right up top here. Yeah, they're so both these came back sevens. I love the H foil cards. They're so cool. Hey, wait a minute. What? How come this Umbreon is black and gold and the other one was black and blue? Because the other one was shiny. Oh. I did know you know the answer to that. Why? <laughs> did he evolve? What? <laughs> All right, Umbreon from Sandstorm Reverse Foil, PSA 6. <sighs> Sombra, why are you? All right, Rocket Snorlax EX came back a 7 from Team Rocket Returns. I love Team Rocket Returns. What a great set. That was me earlier when I was eating that fat breakfast. <laughs> James Arnold, hope you're watching. Oh, Ampharos. <laughs> this was my favorite card to scoop up with Espeon EX. Dark Amphro's Reverse Foil EX Team Rocket Returns. It looks like he had a drink or two. Look at that foiling on the back. It's very cool. All yeah, those the energy symbols. Energy symbols. Yep. That's so fantastic. That awesome. PSA 7. So, another Rockets EX here. Scyther this time came back an 8. We have another Togetic. Togetic from uh, Neo Genesis. Easily the best set ever created. Hashtag fight me. Right here in front of his <laughs> face, you'll see that awesome swirly there. You can catch it just a little bit there. A full, full swirl, two or three deep. That's fantastic. We got a ho here from Neo Revelation. Hey, 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 don't call him that. What? What? Jolteon from EX Sandstorm. We got two of them. Twinsies. PSA 8s. It's clearly windy where this Jolteon is. Maybe Sean Kaufman can elaborate. <laughs> it's super windy where he is. He's like, wait, it's too windy. Well, we got a Gengar here. H4 Gengar from Sky Ridge. Uh, come back at 7. This is a great looking card. The art on here with the Articuno and Zapdos in the back. It's super cool. Here, you gotta open some of these bad ones. What? 
No! <gasps> Ooh, that's fancy. I'll let you open that one. I'm going to open this Quick one. Quick change right of here. heart there. <laughs> we got a Flareon here uh, from Sky Ridge, another H foil. Come back a seven. Keep in mind, everyone, we don't open these cards ahead of time. Um, so we don't really have here you any, go, Jimmy. any idea. The first ad. Yes! Your PSA 1. Finally! <laughs> got an intake from Neo Revelation. First edition came back, graded a PSA 1. One. I wonder if that's population one. That would be amazing. Have yeah, the only oh first ed Entei that's PSA one. Yeah, this side looks like a razor uh, blade went through it. That's or awesome. No, I think a squirrel was uh, <laughs> or something. Squir squirtle was having at it. But yeah, because we got the one. We got the PSA one. Ooh, we got some fun ones in this one. Then we got two H foil intays, two more intays from Aquapolis. Uh, we got an eight and a three. A three. Yeah. Boo. More ones. Boo for a three. Uh oh. Bump bump bump. This is base set two. Alakazam. Anyone comment on when the, the swirly started? Because this one looks like planetary. I didn't see it. All the sparkles and and such in the background. Although very nice. Pales in comparison to the swirlies. I'm cheating by looking ahead. Jungle Clefable. Easily one of the top ten cards ever, ever printed in the game. Clearly something that had to come out. Kept Rocket Zapdos at bay for many, many years. Many, many years. Came back a PSA 7. My stack's got some fun stuff in it. Nothing super exciting, but some fun stuff, including this H-Foil Magneton from Sky Ridge that came back in 9. Uh, you know how I love my Evolutions. Sandstorm Flareon, which I don't think ever seen play. But it definitely looks good. No immediate swirlies. Just some minor explosions here. PSA 9. Yeah, buddy. I also got a PSA 9 on the secret rare Meowth from Noble Victories. All right. Is that the one that you like, feel the pill in the yeah. front and you can feel yeah, it? The sticking coin. off the card. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Neo Genesis. Back to our roots here. Amphro's Hollow. This one came back a PSA 7. Ah, triplets. You got this team of shiny Duskulls here um, from Stormfront. A five and two six. Oh, it man. We couldn't get the six, 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 huh? That That's awful. Would have been a good Pokemon to get it with, too. Right. All right. Here I got three good cards here coming. Alf Lithograph, Heart Gold, Ooh. Soul Silver. This particular one came back a PSA 9. All right, what does that one say there? Shuffle your Shuffle deck. Your deck. <laughs> Snuggle your <laughs> kitty cat. Alf lithograph. And I've got a Dialga, Call of Legends, um, Shiny. We've got almost all of them, I feel like. At least five. Almost all of them. I think there's like 11. But uh, we got Dialga. Came back a six. So thus far, these are two of my favorite cards. And they came back as twinsies. We have Alf Lith... Al, Al, uh, <laughs> words. Alf Lithograph. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Undaunted. These came back 8.5s. Both of them? Both of them. Wow. And consecutive. 230 and 231. Nice. Wow, the odds of that are astronomical. Coming back with a .5. That's pretty good. We got another Legend Maker Mew. Reverse Hollow this time, though. Came back a nine. Give me that one. I'll open another one here. Sure, I'll take these. Super cool artwork on this card. Unseen Forces Reverse Foil Houndoom. PSA 8. Lonesome. It's a fun ability. Oh, we got two eight Dark Gyarados. 
uh, from Pokemon Team Rocket here. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. All these cards will be up for sale on our new website at topcutevents.com. We hope to have these 400 posted before uh, within one week. Sorry. So if you're interested in any of these cards, please head over to topcutevents.com. Like the shiny chandelure from Black and White Next Destiny's graded PSA 8. Man, these uh, bubble wraps are tough. I think that's the point, though. Right? All right. Oh, you got a sneak peek. Oh, and I got a haunter. PSA 8. Ooh, fossil haunter. Like it. For alligator. Riptide was easily one of the most pronounced attacks of this year. Looks like there's a little scratching on this hollow foil. Came back a PSA 7. We've got some more uh, incorrectly cropped golems. Uh, a 7 <laughs> hey, and a 9. Hey, guys. Uh, wait for me. <laughs> 6, 7, 7. All right. Another Mewtwo level X. Black Star promo this time. Diamond and Pearl. This one came back a PSA 8. As much as I love for Alligator, I'm going to backpedal here a little bit, but I think my favorite part of the Riptide deck was being able to use Trash Exchange. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what a fun card. Well, nobody would know what Crobat were if it weren't for, for Alligator. Yeah. 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 That's true. It's such a fun card. I love Trash Exchange. <laughs> Heatran Level X. Not sure how much this card's seen play. Uh, has a body and a power. No actual attack. Oh, well, you just attacked with the heat ran, I suppose. Yeah, huh? that would be my guess. <laughs> this one came back PSA 7. Well, I got a lot of level X's in here, too. This particular card, Dialga Level X, this happens to be Dave Coleman's favorite card. He had... A lady flip four heads in a row to skip his turns for two turns and proceeded to win the game out from <laughs> underneath him. You can't win if you don't get a turn. <laughs> this one came back PSA 7. Uh, we got a PSA uh, 7 Fossil Dragonite here. And oh. Now I've got only level X's left in this deck. Oh, fat. Oh, that's a nice one on top. I ran that in a lot of decks. Lucario level X came back a PSA 6. And Cresselia level X, two eights from Great Encounters. I loved Cresselia level X. Like, I ate it with my Cheerios. It was <laughs> fantastic. Look at all the bananas. <laughs> I, I never, so, I'll never be able to unsee that. Uh, yeah, dad jokes galore. I like Thanks. it. <laughs> Giratina level X in auto, invis, uh, invisible tentacles darkness lost uh oh i'm gonna get out of the way this is an eight we got a triplet of ooksies yep two sevens and an eight fantastic ooksie level x trade off trade off trade off man that would net you a lot of cards right there yep between setup and trade off except you wouldn't be able to set all three of them up yeah i suppose you'd probably never have three ooksies in play even no you can't uh suicune Oh, Shiny. Because, yeah, you could only run one Uxie one in the three, three level X. Yeah. Unless somehow you time space distortioned it back, but you'd never yeah. have them set up at the same time. PSA 5 on this Suicune. Uh, PSA 8 on this Legends Awakened uh, Glyscor level X. One of my children's favorite promo cards. This is Flying Pikachu. Notice this is in the early days when he couldn't afford his own jet. <laughs> so he's using bubble gum. Those are not even balloons. We want to be eco-friendly here. So this one came back a PSA 7. Uh, <laughs> and this Mess Spirit level X also came back a PSA 7. Not as fun as Uxie level X. Nope. I got two shinies here. And I don't mean the reflection. This is an Entei. Came back a PSA 5. And it's Long Lost Twin. Raikou came back at PSA 
six. Yeah, I think we're pretty close to having all of those shinies from Call of Legends. Um, and here's the Shaman level X that came back in eight. And we got another Palkia, or another level X. This one's Palkia. Came back a six. Oh, this is the... Reconstruct. Did they? Yeah, restructure. World champ Stalgon? Stalgon. Why does it say this is... It's got the promo. It's the promo, but it says it's the world champion one. How about that? That would be nice. But it's... How would we confirm that? It's not, though. Ooh. It's not the world champ card. Some research will have to be Do done. Do you know something that I don't know? I have no idea. It looks like the regular promo to me. Yeah. I um It's definitely not out of the world championship. Thoroughly confused there. So let's set that one to the side. Would they call that a misprint? I, I don't know. PSA and misprint? I don't know. But the last level X I have is this Legends Awakened Rhyperior level X. Ah. Nate. Mewperior. Absolutely a fun deck. Ooh, right, I got I'll, I'll do this last card before Jimmy gets into his, but uh, this Plasma bla Blast, Blast, Secret Rare, Rizian, came back a seven. Fun stuff. Yeah, I got a decent stack here. All right, we'll start off with the Steelix Killer, Doug Stop Trio that. Reverse Foil. Stop that. From Expedition. It should say Metal Slap instead of Mud Slap. Why you got to be like this? Magnitude. Does 10 damage to each Pokemon named Steelix. I like it. We're a little over half done now, I would say. I'm going to continue on here with Donphan. Pokemon Aquapolis Reverse Foil. This one came back a PSA 9. Reverse foils from the big three sets here, you know, Expedition, Aquapolis, and, and Sky Ridge, are very tough to get graded as PSA 10s because of the, the amount of foiling around the entire card. Mm -hmm. So this one coming back a 9 is Pretty very, good. very promising. Now we got a first edition Sabrina. All right. Gen challenge. Got Nate. Man. Not to be outdone. Club Fairy! <laughs> also a PSA 8. Now I've got a little bit of uh, old EXs here. We got EX Hidden Legends Wigglytuff EX. All right, go Johnny Blaze. Yeah, uh, came back a 7. Do the wave. All right. Got twinsies here, except one's just a little bit better than the other. Pokemon EX. Rockets Entei EX. Team Rocket returns. We have two of these. One is an 8. And one is a 9. Looking for swirlies, but I don't think there are swirlies just yet in these cards here. I got a Sneasel EX that came back a 7. From Ruby Sapphire. All right, this card's a little newer. Little newer. Pokemon EX Full Art Mewtwo EX from Breakthrough. Came back at PSA 8. I love the Magnazone in the back. <laughs> Who's the other guy? Chestnut. Chestnut! Man, the texture on these cards are incredible, yeah. man. So, Jimmy, were these the Nintendo promos? The Nintendo Power promos? Or were those the non holo EXs? That the non holo yeah. Okay. So these are the regular ones, Kyogre and Groudon. Both got eights. First edition jungle, Vaporeon. Look at all the sparkles in that foil. Man, it's crazy. This one came back a uh, PSA 5. That foiling is just beautiful. I got a Magcargo EX. The art on this is very fun. I enjoy it. It looks like someone just dropped a <laughs> canister of red paint. And, uh, <laughs> hey, this is our new Macargo. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seven on that one. Uh, Clefairy will sing you to sleep. Came back a PSA eight base set. I heard you like 
Charizards. Yeah, I hear two okay. Diamond Pearl promo uh, Charizard G level X's, a seven and an eight. Very nice. I finally got my first H card from Aquapolis. Nice. The Umbreon here. Lots of sparkles here. This one came back. This particular one came back at PSA 7. Some more time skip. Dialga level X. This one got an 8. Oh, two, two H cards in a row. It's Umbreon's little brother, Umbreon. <laughs> this Umbreon is clearly better. It came back a PSA 8. Got an Infernape level X. It came back a 7. Uh. You're putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. In, wait, wait, Infernape? Infernape. 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 <laughs> Somebody, I'm saying it the right way. Someone break that down Infern for us. Infernape. Infernape. Inferno ape. We got Solomon's level X from <laughs> RC. That's great. All right, so what do we got here? Uh oh. I was hoping this moment wouldn't come, but it, it appears that we have not balanced our openings correctly. What do you mean? Because now we're both opening at the same time. Oh. So I'll just show that one there. That's a Charizard. <gasps> That's my first Charizard. Really? Have I opened up every Charizard? You've opened all the Charizards so far. <laughs> This one is easily the best one we have. What? Power Keepers 8.5. We literally have a base at 9 here. But it's not a 9.5. <laughs> it's an 8.5 Charizard. Look at this one has a moon in the background and everything. <laughs> Ow! Oh, wait a minute. Is that like a moon on the moon? The Check moon's that out. moon. Look at that. Watch. See that foiling there right on the moon? Oh, that is really cool. That's pretty awesome. We got the third. There's our third Charmeleon secret from Team Rocket Returns. Another eight. Who could have seen this coming? Not me. <gasps> That's a good one. <gasps> That's a good one. How about the first ever competitive ban? Slow King, Neo Genesis, all first edition. You know. We got a five, a seven, and a nine. It wouldn't be banned if we could just translate things accurately. Yeah. Yep. Right. Or at least offer Yep. Offer a better way to play it, knowing that it was incorrect. Yep. Pop series four. Don't see a lot of these floating around. This is the hollow foil Mew from Pop Series Four. This Isn't one came back. PSA 6. Can we get a, one of those earlier, too? Yeah. Okay. I opened them both. And I've got uh, Hydreigon from Next Destiny. Uh, came back in 8. Secret Rare. All right. I'm all about the point fives. A Skarmory First Edition Neo Genesis. This one came back in 8.5. And I'm all about the sixes. Got a shiny bag on from Arceus. Um, and two shiny Vulpixes, all sixes. I'm going to move over to one of my favorite cards. Double. Double Rainbow Energy. Could you imagine something like this being legal in today's game? Oh, yes. That would be un Make it happen, Pokemon with the amazing rares. Crystal Guardians, this one came back a PSA 7. And this one, much better than that, came back a PSA 7.5. Yes. Um, the Flying Pikachu, the first reprint from Rising Rivals. Is that Bubblegum as well? Yep. All right. Lots of Bubblegum. I'll move on to a mediocre card here. First edition, though, Heracross from Neo Genesis. All those sparklies. Look at those things. Ooh, is that a huge swirly right by his shoulder here? Pretty certain that's a massive yep. swirly there. I love the, the pincer horns in the foreground of the photo, too, of the art. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. That one came back a PSA 8. And then we got some more H-foils. Tentacruel from Aquapolis. Two sevens. Awesome. Are they consecutive? Yes, they are. 143, 144. Nice. 
Here's a fantastic card. First edition Pichu with a massive, massive planetary swirly up here at the top. Just amazing swirl mark up there. And this one came back a PSA 9. Let's see if I can get that swirl in just a little bit better. Whoa, look at that. That looks like our galaxy right there. <laughs> That's fantastic. PSA 9 on this Pichu first edition. I guess we'll do those first. <laughs> Well, I got three three good ones here. We'll start with this one. This is not one of the one I counted as good, but Victini Full Art. Used to use this in the ice cream deck. Would allow me to flip lots of coins. Unfortunately, I'm so bad at flipping that even when I chose <laughs> to reflip, it, it never worked matter. out. All right, we got three Charmander Secret Rares from Stormfront. Two sevens and an eight. Ha! I got Charmander's daddy here. <laughs> Dark Charizard from Team Rocket came back a PSA 6. I believe number 21 is the non-foil. That is correct. I'm, I'm not sure. You, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't think the non-foils have swirlies. No, no, you were correct. All right, see? <laughs> Can't be wrong all the time. Uh, we got a, a Dark Hypno from Rocket came back an 8. I got a couple fire cards here. First one is first edition Typhlosion. Fire recharge. Let's see if I got any swirlies on this sucker here. Looks like there's a, a straight line indented across the top of the card. There are no swirlies, but this one came back at PSA 7. And this much better than Fire Steelix. H foil from Aquapolis also came back a seven. So best Pokemon. When I said fire, I didn't necessarily mean fire type. But it was the fire type, so that's just coincidence. <laughs> and what beats fire? Water. And this H foil Kingdra from Aquapolis that came back a seven. Yeah, I think that was there a one of in, in certain decks, I guess. My guess would be it would be a Kingdra deck. Probably. I could be totally mistaken. So now on to that second set of fire I spoke about. Of double, here's your double rainbow energy. Quapolis Reverse Hollows. I have a Sixes. play set of those that I keep for myself for any decks that I build. Yeah. But we're going to bring the fire right here. We have a first edition Lugia. Ooh. First edition Lugia from Neo Genesis. Came back a PSA 9. This card is beautiful. Beautiful. Has some big planets in it. Has a little X down here in the foiling. The starburst. Just a stunning, stunning card. I'm assuming these are lightning marks in the back here on the foil. Looks kind of like it maybe i can't really see it i guess but, but that's beautiful and so is this dark ampharos from neo destiny hollow it what what is art here is wacky yeah it's uh he's at a race it's clearly. like it, it's like it's moving like it would the like the like the camera shot was taken while it was moving because you can see its tail in two spots. <laughs> nice. Noble Victories. I think this is the Secret Meowth. Yep. 102 of 101. This particular one came back at PSA 7. And so did this particular Meganium from Expedition. Also came back at 7. I don't think I have any Expedition. But I do got these two. And then I will tell a story. And then I got my last card of this pile, at least. Neo Genesis First Edition Blossom. That also came back a seven. Very nice, very nice. We have the shiny number 12. Shinx. First one here came back a PSA 6. 
second one here came back a PSA 7. Uh, these are also consecutive, 49 and 50. Once again, if you're interested in any of these cards, these cards will be available at TopCutEvents.com. TopCutEvents.com. This card single-handedly 6 owed me this past weekend. <laughs> I was there. I can can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> took took sand damage, and it was just all downhill from there. <laughs> uh, beautiful foil pattern. This is a reverse foil, uh, number seven or PSA seven. Ooh, ooh, ooh! You got some goodies. All right, I'll go with this one. A Quapolis, an H hollow foil. At least one Quapolis. PSA seven Tentacruel. Oh, nice. That's like the third one, right? Yeah, we got a few of those. And we also got a Rockets Zapdos Hollow from Jim uh, Challenge. Came back a six. So that card is single-handedly responsible for how I build and have built decks over the years. Why? Because that deck made me go back and rebuild and rebuild and rebuild until I figured out how to beat Rocket Zapdos <laughs> at my local <laughs> league. So I got two of these. Absolute twinsies. Uh, Lantern from Aquapolis, H15. Both came back PSA 8s. Speaking of PSA 8s, we've got two Dark Blastoise from Rockets. So this That's was, awesome. This was a one of in Rain Dance decks. Those swirlies? When Rocket came out. I don't think Rocket... No. Oh, actually, here we are. A lion to y'all. There is a swirl right in the bottom. That is awesome. PSA 8 and Swirly. That's nice. Yep, there she is. Yep, there you go. That's incredible. Not to be outdone, Platinum Articuno from Supreme Victors. This is the secret version. Came back a PSA 7. Speaking of PSA 7s, we got another PSA 10. <laughs> All right. With Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. We got three of them. We is got an eight. Is nine, that one, five, eight? And a Look ten. Look at And they're all consecutive. Yep. One, five, seven, one, five, eight, one, five, nine. That's awesome. Eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. We got the, 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 the Gem Mint ten here. I don't Very think I, cool. Don't think I've opened a ten yet. I got somewhat of a Twinsies here. Got... Uh, Palkia, SL8. This one came back a 5. And this one here came back a 6. More 10s. Giovanni's Machamp. Got a 9 and a 10. Also consecutive. Yep. That's awesome. The artwork on that card is incredible. Very cool. That was ahead very, of its time cool. back in that day. Definitely. That's super awesome. I got a Deoxy Shiny. Near Mint, PSA 7. This is one of the cooler art cards, I think, that's ever been printed. Um, and that is Giratina Level X from Platinum. So we got a 7 back on this one. At least the art on this is very cool. I enjoy it a lot. Is that like one of the first ones where it's busting out of the, the tech, the art box? Yeah, I think that the, the Level Xs were kind of the first to um, gear this Giratina especially. But here's a really good, fun card. Oh, it's the... Um, this must have been a league promo or something. But Pidgeot from Fire Lid. No, that's Fire just Lid. the reverse foiling. That's how it came. The Pokeballs always had that? Yep. Oh. From that set, from Fire Red Leaf Green. I somehow did not know that. This is one of the better competitive cards that's ever been printed, too. Surprisingly, it was fairly balanced. Yeah. I mean, it was a splash in, in every deck. It was... Uh, I don't think you can put a card like that out there today. I don't know that it would even be very good, at least not on a stage two. But we got uh, Dark Ampharos from Team Rocket Returns come back a six, or an eight. Numbers are hard. <sighs> Numbers are hard. <laughs> I have a reverse foil Espeon EX Sandstorm. This particular one came back a PSA six. All right. 
I don't know what happened with this card here in particular, but let's see, there's no swirlies on it. This card has just gone crazy as far as pricing goes. First edition Dark Magneton. Really? Yeah, don't understand it, why it is. Interesting. The, it's a cool card. The foiling on this card is amazing. This particular one came back at a PSA 7 first edition. Put that one on top. I want to look at that one for a while. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that's a good one. Got another uh, Noble Victories Meowth Seeker Rare. Got an 8 again. I think that's where all three of them that we've opened have been at. So, a fun card. Another card my daughter loved. Flareon. This one is Legendary Collection. Came back at a 7.5. I think I've, I've been destitute to holding all the point fives. Well, here's one that you didn't do. Tyranitar from Neo Discovery. 8.5. Ah, she actually played that deck. Um, Trample would allow you to pick every Pokemon on both benches and flip to do 30 damage to it. And you had to flip separately. So when she was little, she used to like flipping the coin and roll and <laughs> die and so then there was an unknown D that prevented damage from dark Pokemon to your bench. So you only uh, only could flip for your opponent's bench Pokemon. Wow, that's kind of... It was pretty dope. That sounds awesome. Uh, I got a Shining Drifloom reverse foil from Stormfront. SH1. Shiny 1. I've got a PSA Neo Discovery seven. Scizor. Came back in 9. Nice. One of the first ever metal Pokemon. I got two Koga's Dittos. wonder if Koga's Ditto was the one in the Pokemon movie. It's possible. Is, is that the one that wrecked Detective Pikachu? Oh. <laughs> this one came back a seven, and this one came back a eight. That Umbreon and Esprion from Neo Discovery here. Uh, es the es 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 Esprion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're both eights, and the Espeon is the hollow, while the Umbreon is the non-hollow. Oh, PSA 8. Any swirlies on that? I don't think so. Need a discovery? That might be too soon. Brock. Well, we just had a rocket. Dark Blastoise have one, too. I guess anything is possible. Not to be outdone not by one. a PSA 8 foil Espeon. We got a PSA 7 Brock. And for some reason, this man is angry at the world. Yeah, but not as angry as this PSA 8 Blaine. Ah, dude, Blaine was suave. What are you talking about? Blaine's he's, awesome. He's the best professor ever. That lab coat. What? What's he got on there? What's the badge? What do you? The gym badge on his tie. Oh, does he? Or is that remnants of a sunflora? It do, no. It it looks like yeah. I, it looks like his gym badge. It's a gym badge. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that on camera super nicely, but. Um. There you go. Yeah, it's the gy his gym badge on his tie. Sweet. All right, I got two Erica's Clefable. One of them came back a six. And the second one came back a PSA eight. And we got some Giovanni's Pokemon. And we got a Nido King here that came back an eight. Uh, Not a Giovanni's Pokemon, I guess, but a Rocket Pokemon with his Dark Machamp came back a six. We are down to our last four packages. Oh, my gosh. Time has been flying by. And another Giovanni's first edition Persian. Come back at nine. And Jimmy's favorite, the eight and a half. Yes. Koga's Beedrill first edition. I want to be the first guy to get a ten and a half. I don't <laughs> <laughs> think that's possible. Well, no, but I do think 10 is possible, and that's exactly what this Missy's Gyarados first edition did. First Ed, PSA 10. Yep. I love this it. This is awesome. This is an awesome card. I'm so jealous. I don't think I've gotten a 10 yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gotten them all. All right. I have my own Espeon slash Umbreon combo here. And Sorry I've got that. Erica's Venusaur. We got Sandstorm Reverse Foil Espeon, came back a PSA 5, and a Neo Discovery 
Umbreon came back PSA 6 looking for a swirly in this one here don't see one in that that Umbreon so beautiful I'd like to open a 10 before this is over. There you go. You can open that one. I did not open that one, so <laughs> it's no fair. But I did. A Rocket Zapdos PSA 10. This one was right on top. How about that? Man, I should have taken that one. <laughs> See, I'm biased against that card, so I didn't want to open it. <laughs> not to be outdone. Why have a 10 when you could have a PSA 4 <laughs> Jirachi EX from... EX Crystal Guardians. Got a hollow Brock's nine Brock's nine tails here. Came back a nine. That's one of the more fun cards I think that's ever been printed too. Shapeshifter is just a very cool ability. Alright, so this is a weird card, always has been to me, because it is a Charizard that is not fire. It is a dragon Pokemon. For the first time ever. That takes Fire energy, but is well, not a fire Pokemon. Well, why would it? It's not going to take dragon energy. It doesn't exist. Uh, well, double dragon exists. Not when that card came out, it didn't. It did not. Mega Charizard EX230 PSA 6. Speaking of PSA 6s, this is a PSA 9, and it is a <laughs> Blaine's Arc 9. Um, so uh, we got a question in the chat here that says, what is a PSA? Well, PSA is a company. The PSA particularly stands for Pro Sports Authenticators. Uh, what they do is people send them cards, or they also, not just cards, but they also grade, like, uh, they do comic grading, sports cards grading, um, like full box gradings. They, they grade lots of different stuff. Um, baseballs, uh, other basketball, sports, yeah. basketball, other any, sports. Any memorabilia, sports. Yeah. basically. Yep. Um, and they do they do all the grading. Um, and they do the grading, and this is it's it's more so just like a collector thing, um, but they they put all of the stuff that they grade inside of these hard cases like this, um, so that they keep their quality, they keep their um, condition. So, and they cannot be replicated. Yes, that's the most important yep. part. So, because they all have the serial numbers and the barcodes and everything. So, um, we got a Rockets Hitmonchan here, got a seven on that. More Rockets Pokemon. Lots of Rockets Pokemon here. Um, we got a Rockets Moltres. There's a 9. And then we got two Rocket Scythers. A 9 and a 10. And they're, yes, sequential. they're sequential. Yes! I'm sorry. I'm cheating here a little bit. I'm trying he's, to find. He's opening them all looking for a 10. <laughs> trying to find a 10. <laughs> all these point fives. <laughs> Killing me. We got a Neo Genesis Cleffa. Maybe the most annoying Pokemon to ever play against. Uh, it's definitely in the um, top five. First not edition nine. So this this might be the most annoying Pokemon to have ever have to try to attack. So um, here we've got. <laughs> there you go. You can have that <laughs> stack there. We got a Chansey from base. Uh, got a nine. I wonder what you do with cards like this that have the wrong. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. The wrong. Uh, we'll have to send a here. message to Charlie and ask him what the. What you think it makes there? it more valuable I, or I don't less know. valuable? I don't know. It, I think there's probably a market for both. Or there's probably a market for that. So, like to the people that want the market of it being wrong, probably more. But. Uh, Someone like me that doesn't want my cards to be wrong. All right. These are the last. These are all the ones that we opened here. My stack and Dan's stack. And, and this is the last of what we have to open. And Jimmy got no 10s. And I got no 10s thus far. <laughs> so I got a Dark Alakazam here. It's an 8. All right. I have a Dark Dragonair. Not the one that was played in all the Dark decks. Especially the ones that ran Dragonair. But this one came back a PSA 8. And this Dark Golbat came back a PSA 7. Uh, the Bats, Dark Crobat. This was one of my, this is one of my favorite decks, I think. Dark Crobat. Uh, like Murkrow Lock. Yeah. 
I sent in um, an entire Team Rocket rare set. Nice. Consecutive. We haven't gotten that one back yet. So I have another Dust Nor Level X. This one came back a PSA 8. And this, Rocket Zapdos, got a lot of those back. This one came back a 6. Oh, finally got a Charizard. <laughs> Yay for Charizard. Legendary Treasures, PSA 8 and PSA 7. Nice. Yeah, consecutive 7, 8. And also Neo Revelation Raikou. Got a 7 here, Miss Hollow Raikou. What a good boy. Any swirlies in that? That looks like a swirly picture. No, there's a big moon over his head, though. Yep. No swirls. All right. Not to be outdone here. Hypno. Who can't go without a Hypno? PSA 7 from Fossil. And we also got a 6 and a 7 on these Expedition Hollow Ampharos. Jimmy's evening the stacks out here. And now we've got a Magneton from Neo Revelation. Came not, back an 8. Not first head. That looks like real, real Magneton. Like if Magneton were laying yep. on the table, yep. that's exactly what it would look yeah. like. It does look pretty realistic. I have a PSA 8. Erica's Dragonair from Gym Heroes. I just did a quick search here. No swirlies that I can see. We got a vile plume from Expedition. Reverse hollow. This has got a seven. Oh, my favorite grade thus far. PSA 8.5. Clearly better than all the tens that we have opened thus far. But not better than the one. <laughs> not better than the one. Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. PSA 8.5. Here, we've got Call of Legends Umbreon that come back a six. This is a hollow. The Call of Legends cards are better than all of the other cards Pokemon has ever printed simply because the yellow is not so prominent on the border. The yellow borders on all the other cards are... I hate it. Isn't Heart Gold Soul Silver similar in that fashion? Well, the whole Heart Gold Soul Silver block. Block, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a PSA 9... Blaine's Moltres. And a PSA 9 Dark Doug Trio. These are notorious for having swirl marks, but having Jimmy Ballard luck doesn't appear that this one has one. Neither does this. I must have Jimmy Ballard luck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's Italian. <laughs> First edition Charizard. Got a six. It's Italian. I challenge you to read that. Potera Pokemon. Brucia Energia. <laughs> Come on. Turbo Fueco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not to be outdone by an Italian Charizard. I got my first PSA 10. <laughs> After opening up all the cards that were... Oh, that. this is my last <laughs> stack. <laughs> Sun and Moon Full Art Lycanroc GX from Hidden Fates. Beautiful foiling. Just an amazing card all around. So this is the second. We got two of these. Another base set Charizard. Hollow got a nine. This is our second one. That's very nice. It does good job. So we have two, two PSA 9 Charizards. From base set. And here is a first edition Giovanni's Gyarados. We got a five on this one. Boo! Yeah, what a weird grade. What's yeah. up, Larry Dog? How you doing? Hey, Larry Dog. What do we got here? We have a PSA 9, Ooh. which is Mint Decidui GX. I love the artwork on that card. He's like, I agree. Yeah, what are you looking at, bro? <laughs> We got a first edition Meganium here from Neo Genesis. And we got an eight on this one. Near mint, mint. So I have another PSA 9. Full Art Banette GX, Hidden Fates. So what's the SV? Shiny Vault. Is this a subset of yep. Hidden Fates? Yep. 
so there was like there was like 70 or 80 cards and hidden fates and then there was like 70 or 80 more from a shiny vault yeah it says 94 yeah and then 61 there was one of 94 yeah and then there was yeah 94 cards the shiny vault i think was actually bigger like the the subset was bigger than the actual set so was the set reprinted as a shiny vault or no, were they it, independent they all, cards? Yeah, they all, so shiny vault cards came in the hidden fates packs. Were they all GXs? No. So you could have got like random Squirtle or whatever. And yeah, but they were also shiny and had like texture on the art and everything too. Right. So they I'll, were super cool. I'll but keep they that. also they also only came in the reverse hollow slot. So, okay. Harder to get. So yeah, it was basically like opening a one card pack, and it might be a shiny. Got it. Yeah. I'll keep the uh, shiny vaults going with another PSA 9. Sun and Moon Greninja. Again, these kind of remind me of like the old dark Pokemon. The way they're printed. Yeah. And I've got a PSA 7 Misty's Gyarados Hollow. Uh, oh, wow. I got another 10. <laughs> Both your 10s were Lycan Rocks. <laughs> Finally, The Rock has come back. Twilight Eyes. Two PSA graded cards. PSA 10. Too bad they're not consecutive, huh? Yeah, that would have been cool. And the last cards that I have to go through here are these two Expedition Pichu Hollows. We got a 4 and an 8. Wow, that's odd. It must be pressed or something on uh, the floor. Yeah, let's... That's kind of nutso. I'll let you go ahead. We'll I have two this. cards left myself. Both are from the Shiny Vault. First one is a PSA 10 Tapu Fini GX. Full art and beautiful... Yeah, those those gold cards, those gold shiny vault cards were awesome. Very awesome. I can't wait to see some of the uh, population on, on some of the cards we yeah. got back. Oh, that was a 10, too. Oh, my. they Very yeah. awesome. This is a 10 as well, yeah. And last but not least, I got a final 10. Tapu Lele GX Gold. Very awesome. So those gold tins are awesome. This Inte one is awesome, but I think this was this was you happy my, with those. Yeah, this is my favorite thing. I think that I ended up opening today, as we got nines on the base set: Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard. Um, we actually got two nines on Charizard, but I think these were these were some of the more fun things I think we opened today. Um, and then obviously the Mewtwo that got a 10, the G Mewtwo GX, the Charizard Star, Shining Steelix, the Mewtwo Star, and the PSA 10 Umbreon GX. I mean, See, we got a lot of really cool stuff today. Those are great and all, but I still am a big fan of Clefairy <laughs> and the best card that I opened today. Dialga Level Dialga X. Level X. <laughs> Once again, this is Dave Coleman's favorite card in the entire game. Just ask him. He'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so we went through and opened up roughly 400 PSA cards today, newly delivered, um, finding out what they all were. Uh, <laughs> Zerthon, hi, hello. Um, and that's, that's we got, we just finished going through um, all of them. Um, so th for those of you that are watching us on Twitch right now, thanks for joining. For those of you that are watching us on YouTube, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite card was that we opened today. And a reminder for every single person, if you see one of these cards and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to have it. Well, then you got to go over to TopCutEvents.com because these will be for sale by the end of the week. Uh, or by the within a week. Um, and today as we are recording, is July 1st in 2020. So, uh, topcutevents.com, that's where you'll find all these. Uh, Jimmy, what, what you got to say? 
I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, opening these things up brings back a lot of memories for me. A lot of time was spent with my children playing at events uh, with a lot of these cards. Uh, I'm more prone to send out retro cards. Um, even though some of them come back three, four, five, seven, whatever it is, uh, these have a, a, a soft spot in my heart, and I just appreciate the memories going back and opening these with all of you. Thanks for com thanks for tuning in. So, but all right, everybody. Um, Till next time. We yeah, got 400 more coming in. Uh, we hope to have those by the end of July. Uh, once they come out, we'll pop those on a, a fresh opening video. Yeah, yeah. We got. I mean, we have literal thousands of cards that we're waiting on. So. Yep. Um, and then just a quick reminder for everyone as well, over on twitch.tv slash Network every single Saturday, uh, we are running through the retro series, the Top Cut Network retro series. Um, last weekend we played 2010 format. This coming weekend, we do not know what we are playing yet, but it is currently looking like the 2007 Worlds format. Um, that will start at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, um, where we'll all get together play some old school pokemon yeah we may have we so. may have some uh we may have a special guest we may have some special guests who knows who that could be i do but <laughs> I, will not, I won't tell you <laughs> <laughs> so uh make sure to tune in everyone it'll be a lot of fun um and thank you for watching this and uh now i'm gonna hit the stop streaming button oh wait uh, Darkness of Blaze pre-orders are available. Find me on Twitter and Facebook, or Twitter and Instagram at Top Cut Dan. Get those ordered. Because um, we're running out, we're getting low. So uh, I'm gonna stop streaming now, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye, everyone.